Hello, I'm here with senior technology analyst Luke Gear from ID TechX. And Luke, you cover all our work on electric vehicles and beyond. So how has COVID-19 impacted the, firstly, the passenger car market, let alone electric vehicles? Um, we, we've heard a lot in the press, but how do you see that checking out in the very immediate term for automotive companies? Very good. Uh, yes, it's a very um, interesting question. And, and I think um, the automotive industry at the moment is seeing something um, completely unprecedented um, uh, in terms of uh, the decline and, and the sudden lack of consumer demand um, that, that we're seeing um, that isn't even comparable to, to other big uh, economic events like uh, the economic crisis. So I think overall, uh, the passenger car market is going to take quite a, a big hit in uh, the short and mid-term. Um, and uh, the, the main reason for this is um, uh, in the short term, obviously, uh, people are facing economic uncertainty, um, facing job uncertainty, and the car is the second largest purchase you make outside uh, the house that you buy. Um, and so it's a very difficult um, purchase decision to make. And I think it's one of the first things that um, consumers will look to kind of cut out of their spending. Um, but also just the uh, COVID-19 is going to lead to less demand for travel in the short term. You know, I, I think the genie's uh, out the bottle uh, with working from home. Um, people are going to be commuting less and uh, wanting to be uh, uh, safer um, uh, in, in many respects. So um, the, the passenger car, uh, car takes the hits from that angle as well. So I'm looking at some of your data shown here in the chart on the left. And so we could see the passenger car sales falling substantially between 2019 and 2020, as one would expect. Uh, but tell us about you know, what's happening around 2030, where you have a, a peak there. What are the reasons behind that? Yeah, so um, while before 2020, um, or even this year, we've seen uh, dips and peaks that have really been related to um, changes in the economy, or governmental policy in some of the top three auto markets. The peak that we see in 2032 is something that we think is going to be very different to what's happened um, before. Um, we think it's going to be a, a fundamental decline in the demand for passenger cars mm. from the consumer side. And the main reason for this is um, uh, a combination of mega trends, like uh, more people uh, moving to cities and urbanization, um, but one of the big ones is the rise of autonomy and uh, car sharing services. Um, so we think there's going to be a rise in uh, autonomous vehicles, level four, or level five autonomous vehicles um, up through uh, 2040. And uh, this is going to be able to replace um, the private passenger car by a ratio of around five to one. And this is going to start to lead to the decline we see here from 2030 uh, to 2040. Right. So ID TechX is showing that passenger cars will peak maybe around 2030 to 2032. But within that, I could see uh, you're showing here still good growth for electric cars. So if we look on the chart on the right, um, can you talk us through this? So here you're showing what would have happened before COVID, but it looks like we end up in the same position in terms of penetration of electric passenger cars 10 years out from now. Yeah. So um, in the short term, I think it's quite clear that everything is going to take a hit and we reflect that now in our forecasts. Um, but I think there are a, a few things happening with the electric vehicle market that are different to the internal combustion engine. Um, one, I, I think we're starting to see what it's like to have um, cleaner air in our streets and cities. And so um, there's a certain level of, I think, momentum building behind uh, trying to keep this benefit um, and continue this uh, trend. And it's bringing the limelight um, onto electric vehicles and, and what a potential future could be like. Um, so uh, this paired with um, some of the uh, very supportive policy we've been seeing from some of the top auto markets, um, like in Europe, um, uh, Germany and, and France have come up with stimulus packages that um, really help and get behind the electric vehicle industry. Um, and similarly, China has extended their um, upfront purchase subsidy now to uh, 2023. 
Um, and so it's this combination of, uh, of factors and this strong will at the governmental level not to lose the progress we've made. But I think in, in the mid to long term that, um, you know, this trajectory isn't derailed. And um, we predict that the market starts to, to meet our original curve by about 2030. So, Luke, um, you're just launching this report on the advanced passenger car market where you cover these different things. Can you talk us a bit through uh, the unique selling points of the research you've done? Yes, um, I, I think some of the core strengths of this report is really the, the detail it goes into, not just on forecasting the um, electric car by region, um, but also in the underlying technologies, um, our long term prediction of what's going to happen with the overall car market and autonomy and the role electric vehicles uh, play in that. Um, and we also just have this um, a focus on and uh, understanding of the core technologies that are driving this transition. So in the electric traction motors, we follow closely um, some of the materials trends like the uh, um, trend towards uh, permanent magnet motors for the power density and efficiency. And similarly within the batteries, um, the uh, the underlying trends towards um, high energy density, uh, NMC, and some of the d dynamics we're seeing play out in different markets. Brilliant. Thank you. So for more information, take a look at the website, idtechx.com. Luke, thank you very much. Thanks very much, Rigu.